Hi, I'm David Zarnicki here with Trace Towbots, and I'd like to show you an alternative to uh, aircraft towing. We've got a remote control unit that can save you a lot of aggravation and potential damage to your aircraft. Towbot is a remote control towing device, and essentially what it allows the operator to do as an, as an advantage to a traditional tug is you can actually move the aircraft from any vantage point. Being that it's remote controlled, there's a handheld unit that will run the towbot and essentially you can just drive it around and you can become your own wing walker. So one individual can do what typically would take two or three individuals to do it with a traditional tug with one person at the, on the tug and then one on each side of the aircraft. So it really adds a lot of flexibility in, in uh, moving aircraft, especially within hangars, so you can prevent hangar rash, any of those type incidents from happening if you can see better and aren't limited to just sitting on the tug. The controller is very simple, it's traditional off-the-shelf type item, but really what's inside of the towbot, it has a, a processor or controller in there. That's really the brains of the unit. And then there's also batteries and a gearing system, and the way that it's designed is, ver is very interesting and unique. It's essentially you got four-wheel drive. The unit can turn within its own radius, 360 degrees. So it's, uh, it's pretty much what's inside that counts, and the, the benefit of this is you know, for your replacement parts, it requires no maintenance okay. besides plugging it All in. Right, and in the event you do need some replacement part, everything is very affordable, unlike a lot of tug companies where their batteries are extremely expensive. We have three different models. The standard unit of the Towbot can handle aircraft up to 15,000 pounds. Then we have a heavy duty version that handles up to 30,000 pounds. And then we have a bomber bot that handles about 45,000 pounds. So you can move, um, we've done the Falcon 2000 with the bomber bot, move a lot of the King Air with the heavy duty unit, you can move all the King Air line, you can move uh, any of the Citation jets. So pretty much anything that's in the business category, we can move. And as well, we have a wheel pant model for all the wheel pant aircraft that's, that's different. Essentially picks it up from the top by the tire and just lifts it up without damaging the wheel pant. Uh, the bomber bots we actually have a training program for. They're the most complicated ones because you're moving high-end aircraft and you've got to be extremely careful. It takes a little bit of training, but within an hour after watching a video demonstration, it's very simple to run, simple to use. Each uh, controller that, that comes with a towbot has a, can select from 75 different frequencies. So if there were any interference, it was going to change to a different frequency automatically. Uh, the benefit of that as well is you, you can run multiple tow bots in the area and not have any issue with any kind of interference. The standard unit starts at $74.99, heavy duty is $79.99, and then the uh, bomber bot is $11,999. Aero TV is brought to you by the beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.